another Animal Crossing Pocket Camp video. So in today's video we're going to be doing a Valentine's Day transformation. So as you can see my campsite is very wintry themed right now. Um, I've changed up my flowers from the previous flower event to some red and white roses because I thought that was good for Valentine's Day. And um, yeah my campsite is just basically all winter themed. It's kind of a mess actually. I just wanted it to look like a nice cozy winter campsite. Um, so yeah, why don't we change it up for Valentine's Day? So as you can see, I got rid of literally everything from the winter campsite because it didn't fit at all. Um, the last couple of weeks I've been collecting all of this bakery furniture because it's a set that I really really love and I really wanted it but I wasn't sure how you get it. Um, I don't know if this is from a previous event that I didn't get a chance to take part in or last Valentine's Day or something. I'm not sure when these items were released and I missed them, but I was really, really happy to be able to craft them again using all the materials I've collected. And um, yeah, as you can see, I'm making the right side into a flower shop and the left side into a chocolate shop because I figured on Valentine's Day, um, you usually buy chocolates and flowers. They're like the typical things you usually buy for people. And yeah, I really wanted it to look like a nice, cozy, Valentine's, romantic, area where you can go with your Valentine's Day and you can go buy them some chocolate. Um, I wanted it to sort of look like a little kitchen as, as well as a bakery and I made sure to fill it up with lots of chocolate treats and chocolate cake and um, I used some of the items from the flower event, the candy shop stuff and I took some tips from my friend Leah who said I should use some lovely furniture and I think that goes with um, Valentine's Day really really well and the lovely furniture is some of my favourite furniture in the whole game so I was really really happy to use that. I used this little heart lamp and I really just wanted it to look like a really lovely bakery and flower shop so um, yeah I'll leave you to watch the rest of the time lapse and I'll speak to you in a moment. Okay, so why don't I do a tour of the campsite now? So I'm dressed up in this lovely new pastel pink bakery outfit. Um, I have this little bakery sign over here. I really, really like this item. I've got these two lovely chairs and this um, bakery table thing with these cute um, Isabel coffees and stuff on it. We've got loads of chocolate cakes. I've dressed up all the villagers for Valentine's Day as well. We've got this lovely heart lamp, um, this really beautiful stove item over here that Whitney's cooking in. Um, we have Teddy who's making chocolate, Poppy and Fang are all making chocolate for Valentine's Day. And we have this sweets thing that has loads of sweets in it, like a big shelf. Over here we have a teddy bear for sale and all of these flowers. Um, Tom Nook is sleeping over here, I think he's looking after the flower shop for the afternoon. And um, I made sure to put all these butterflies and stuff around because I imagined it's like a big greenhouse type garden-y flower shop. And um, yeah, we have some strawberries, we have some red and pink flowers, a big bouquet, this little flower stand over here, another heart lamp and this cute little cafe item because I figured it looked like a checkout for the flower shop and the bakery. And behind that we've got the lovely flower fountain and this lovely harmonious tent because I think it looks like a really cute area you could go on a date for Valentine's Day. So yeah, that's the campsite. Thank you. 
Okay, so now that we're done with the campsite, let's decorate the inside of my camper van. Um, I know usually in these videos I decorate my cabin as well, but I wasn't really feeling up to it today. So today I've just decorated my campsite and my camper van. I hope you don't mind. I was really happy to get rid of the Christmas furniture because I hadn't decorated my camper van since Christmas. And I basically just tried to fill it with pink items, just the usual way I decorate. I just really like to use sweets and lovely furniture in general. Um, so I just did what I usually do and I wanted it to be a bit more spacious and have a little area on the floor where you could just chill out on a cushion and chat to your friends and stuff and yeah that's about all I have to say about it So as you can see I have the Kiki and Lala cloud bed with this big unicorn plushie next to it. I have the starry wallpaper, this flowery table and flower chair, lovely chair and strawberry cupcake. And we have loads of pillows over here and a teddy bear. I just wanted it to look like a really cosy area you could chill out in. And now that we've done that why don't we go decorate the upstairs. So the upstairs previously was a kitchen where I was making Christmas food because the last time I decorated it was Christmas time. Um, so before that it was a spa so I wanted to go back to that sort of theme because I think a spa fits really well for Valentine's Day as well because before a big Valentine's Day date you might go to a spa and uh, make yourself look really nice and just pamper yourself so I thought that was a really cute idea to bring back into it but this time I wanted to include this big teacup item because I think it sort of looks like a bath of tea and I know that probably isn't very good for you in real life but I thought it looks sort of magical and instead of just a boring spa I wanted it to sort of look like somewhere where you could do like a big magic spell to make yourself be really pretty or something and I thought the teacup really suited that. Yeah so I just included loads of flowers and crystal items and fountains because I really wanted it to look really magical and not just like a boring old bathroom. I really wanted it to have like a witchy vibe and somewhere where you could do love spells or something like that. Um, I know it's quite silly but I thought it was a nice idea. Okay, so now that we've done decorating everything, um, why don't we go give our Valentine's Day chocolate to my favourite character in Pocket Camp, who's Fang. So, Ruby isn't in this game, but um, Fang is, and he's my second favourite, so I'm definitely giving my Valentine's Day present to him. You can give one animal this present. If you give yours to Fang, you cannot give it to anyone else. Um, that's fine, I'm not going to give it to anyone else. Fang's my favourite in Pocket Camp, so... Are you sure you want to give this present? Yep, I'm very sure. How goes it, Lulu? <laughs> the way my character was standing was so cute. Huh? You want to chat with me? Yeah, I've got time. Oh, <laughs> this is so cute. Gotta say, I'm glad you asked. It's been a while since you've had a real good heart to heart, you and me. Wait, why is he stood up on the bench? <laughs> You're always so busy around the campsite and well, I don't want to bother you. Oh my gosh. Why is he stood up on the bench? That's so cute and weird. <laughs> should I give Fang his present now? Yes, he should. Thanks for being you, Fang. I got you a special present to show you how much I care. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. What? You're thanking me? What for, Chichomp? I didn't even do anything. <laughs> I don't know if I can accept this. I mean, the principle of the thing is just... I mean, I don't know what... Oh, he's so cute. Oh, fine, if you insist. I should be the one thanking you, though. You've always been so nice to me. <laughs> this is so cute. Oh, my goodness. Let me give you my present now. Go on, take it. Don't be shy. Blue heart balloons, that's so cute! Do you get a different colour depending on the personality of the character? I wrote you a letter too, I put it in with the present, so read it while you decorate, okay? Okay, I'll read it in a moment. 
<laughs> you better keep on being a great friend, Lulu. I'm used to it now. No pressure. <laughs> Okay, so why don't we see what it says on the balloons? My dear friend, seeing as you're always helping me out, I thought I'd get you something nice. I picked this one out special. I had to endure one of the trendy stores to get it, you know. Not my usual style, that's for sure. Just goes to show how grateful I am to you. I wouldn't go out of my way like that for just anybody. Enjoy. Fang. <laughs> that's so sweet, oh my goodness. I really love how they have events like that in Pocket Camp. Okay, well that's all for today guys. I hope you enjoyed watching me decorate my campsite for Valentine's Day. And I hope you enjoyed watching me give my Valentine's Day present to Fang. Let me know who you gave your Valentine's Day present to. And let me know what you thought of the campsite. Because I really, really like how it looks now. It's a lot more cosy and better than the previous decoration. And I think it feels a lot warmer and happier. So yeah, let me know what you think about it. And I hope you have a really lovely Valentine's season. And if you like this video, please do leave a like and subscribe. Only if you want to though. And thank you all so much for watching and I'll speak to you on my next video. Bye!